has been released for only a week at the time of this being released. It's not, it's been recorded and edited. It's not gone out yet. Hang on a minute. Look, there's a... It is Saturday, the 22nd of June, 2024. And it's a little bit chilly for the middle of June. <laughs> Mid-teens, should be early 20s. I don't mind. I prefer the slightly cooler walks. It also allows me to take a jacket with me to carry all the kit I'm using to record this. But anyway, yes, hello, welcome to another channel update. The last one I did was in this very park, Calder Glen Country Park, back in January. So you undoubtedly know how it works if you've seen these videos on a regular basis. I will just go over the stats and the videos and how they're performing and what the plans are for the next six months. The next channel update is not going to be until January next year. So yeah, quite a bit to talk about. Let's get started. Let's go into the subscriber numbers. At the time of recording, the subscriber count is 429 subscribers, which means from the 1st of January this year, it's gone up by 25 subscribers. It does also mean that I'm going to hit 50 minimum this year if it carries on as it is. So that's nice. A nice little thing because I was a bit worried at the beginning of the year because, as you know, if you watched the last channel update, four subscribers disappeared <laughs> um, initially. And I clawed that back by the end of January, but it was still a bit of a a bit of a dis difficult time because I think, I think um, there's been a few bot cleanses by a YouTube this year, which kind of helps or doesn't help depending how you see it. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at all the stats and go through all the different strands. And it's slim pickings for some, but quite a bit for others. It's been quite an interesting six months with a lot of changes. As you know, I have now moved home. So a lot of my time has been spent trying to settle in and give myself some sort of home. The room is still not finished for recording as a kind of mini YouTube studio. The spare room still got boxes in it and that will take a while to go through. I do have a place to record Doctor Who reviews on video again, so you will start seeing these Doctor Review Doctor Who reviews very soon. Um, but the acoustics of the spare room are not quite enough yet to do proper video recordings and the, the layout's not there, but there's work in progress. This year is gonna be work in progress in regards to things changing. Um, you have seen the last recorded review from the old house. Um, that scene's no longer there. It's been completely removed and gutted and renovated, so it's no longer there. So that was the last time you guys will see that um, room background um, on the channel. Uh, a monumental moment, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a look at the strands, see what they're doing. If you know how it works for me and what I deem as a success, what I tend to do is I tend to um, base it on a ratio percentage um, of the number of subscribers to the number of views. If the views are between zero and 5% of the subscriber numbers by the end of the first month of it being released, that's a poorly performing video. Anything 5% to 10% is okay. Anything 10% to 15% is good. And anything 15% above is excellent. There's quite a few excellents this year from different strands as well, which is really nice to see. I've hit a couple, I think I may have hit a couple of zeitgeists. And um, when it comes to the first impressions, they have really made a mark in helping sustain the channel numbers. So I'll go through all that as we go on. What a different view six months does, eh? Look at that. That's really interesting how narrow the, the trail is here with all the grass and everything grown over. Definitely summer. Definitely the reason why I like Calder Glen. And then you've just got the edge of Eastcall Bride here in the distance. Really does show how far away it is. For me, this is now an extra 2,000 steps to get here. Where I'm living now is another 15 minutes further away. So it's interesting to get here. My fitness is kind of up and down at the moment. So excuse the breathlessness, but I am trying to still keep the steps in. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the stats for the videos. So I'm going to start with the vlogs. There has been this year six videos so far. We've had a little mini vlogging month in February, which kind of covers the gap of no vlogs that have been the case since the beginning of May. So New at Castle, uh, vlog 106. That did okay views, um, as did um, two of all three of the Lisbon holiday vlogs, the Castelo de São Jorge, uh, Lisbon, Can uh, Sintra and Belém and uh, Palicio da Pena. They all did okay views. 
Um, the fly in the nest, the vlog that did off from May, which confirmed officially I had moved house, that did okay views as well. But one of the best performing videos of the year so far is the Castle Fla Fraser vlog. That did excellent views. I'm really pleased about that. It's not the best. There is one other video that's done better um, over the past six months, but it's really nice to have that situation. Excuse me, the steps here. Whoop. Obviously got to the steppy bit. Um, so yeah, vlogs wise, um, it's looking good for the vlogs. The intention is to do eight more between now and the end of the year. Um, there's going to be a vlogging month in August for the four videos I've got that I recorded in Hungary. Um, and also we're trying to catch up with recordings that have happened from 2022. I've still got one more video from 2022 to release out, which is, um, the barrel collection. I'm not sure which one, I'm not sure when that's coming out, whether it's going to come out in July or August. Um, we'll, we'll see, but yeah, that's the, the layout and the setup here for the vlogs going forward. So yes, they are continuing and uh, the plan to have 14 for the year is still on track. Of course, I did mention in the last channel update that I was planning to move home. I didn't expect to move so quickly, but I do have a slight admission to make. I already knew about the flat that I had purchased and moved and subsequently moved into. I'd got the offer accepted at the time this channel update was being recorded. You probably would have figured that out if you'd seen the vlog that I talked about it. Um, so it was a slight lie. I already knew it was happening. Um, and I knew, and that's why I gave the warning um, that this year there might be strands that aren't doing as much. The one that logistically is a problem is the one for Kid Structor. Um, the only recording we've done this year is for Funny Bones with Fraser, which I recorded in October last year, and that's done okay views. It's not been brilliant, but it's done okay views. I can't grumble at that. It sometimes these things happen. Um, but the intention is to get Jamie and Fraser to come together, maybe come to mine, record a few off. Now I have a location I can do it myself. I think I can probably get quite a few in. It's just trying to plan and work it around. I've just done up the living room, so now I have a place where we can sit down and do some recordings. I think it's going to be quite fun when we get started again, but that's the plan to do three more this year, but I aim to record a lot more than three when, the, when we're all together again. I might even consider doing separates, one with Jamie, one with Fraser, or a couple with Jamie, a couple with Fraser to mix up a little bit. I don't want to go back to individual constructors. I don't want my hand forced with that. Hopefully I get an opportunity to do that at some point over the next couple of months. Speaking of knowledge, the channel has been rather Doctor Who heavy in its content the past couple of months. Understandable. New series has been out. First impressions have been going out every week. But there has been five Doctor Who reviews done since January. So, uh, the big finish ones. Uh, Luguru, Dust Breeding and Blood Tide. Luguru and Dust Breeding did okay. Blood Tide is still in its first month, but currently is doing poorly. It's not far away though from being into the okay category, so I expect that to be the case by the end of the month. And then the two uh, Doctor Who reviews of Doctor Who stories, television stories, Under Late Before the Flood has done excellent views. It's really smashed it this year, which is really nice. And then we have Four to Doomsday, which has also done okay in its views. The plan is to do 14 maximum more Doctor Who reviews, including a Who month. Um, it may turn into 12. Um, it just depends on some scheduling bits and pieces over the next couple of months. But the aim is 14. It probably may turn up as 12. We'll just see how it goes. We then, of course, have eight first impressions. Uh, the Empire of Death has been released for only a week at the time of this being released. It's not, it's been recorded and edited. It's not gone out yet. Hang on a minute. Not often you see a deer here. Wow. Wow. I knew deer were getting a bit more brave, but I didn't realize they were getting into the park. That's something I've never seen before. Of course, Doctor Who series has been out, so I've been doing a lot of first impressions. Um, seven of them have been released at the time of recording. The eighth has been edited and will be released by the time this comes out. So I don't know the stats for that, but let's have a look at some of the views we've done so far. Now, uh, Dot and Bubble, Rogue and Legend of Ruby Sunday, they're currently still within their first month. Uh, Dot and Bubble has done okay views, Rogue has done okay views so far, and Legend of Ruby Sunday, and Legend of Ruby Sunday has already done good views, which is quite good to hear. Um, of the four that have gone through their uh, month, 73 yards, knocked it out of the park, 
At the time recording, 358 views. That's excellent with a capital E. That's the best performing video I've had um, in a month since the unboxing video for the TV two years ago. That's still going strong as well. It's, what's it, close to 15,000 views now? That's really keeps, and it keeps plugging away. It's really helping the growth of the channel in a small way, which is really nice. Um, then we have Boom and the Space Babies. Boom and Space Babies, not the Space Babies. Uh, both done excellent views and the Devil Cord has done good views. So they've all done fairly strong this year. We're really happy about. I like the idea of the fact that it, they've had the whole attention more or less for the whole week, which is nice. That doesn't really happen normally because um, usually the, the extra video of the week. But I thought because of my time with the moving and everything else and everything being there, I would use it as an opportunity to um, just get a video out rather quickly, quick smart with a, a quick first impression reaction. It seems to have done the job and it seems to have worked for me, which is nice. So I might do that again next year. And because I'm sharing duties with the Doctor Who Society, the Glasgow Doctor Who Society video reactions, I needed the time that I would be doing my own videos to help with that because they, they've become a bit more complicated this year with some of the content we're putting in. But it's, it's good to do, but it's time consuming. Okay, six facts. Um, two videos have come out since the last time we spoke. John Logie Baird has done okay views and Charlie Chapman has done excellent views. There's quite a few excellent rated videos this time, which is really nice to see that there are some videos that are hitting the stride and getting more views than I expect, which is really nice. And it's, it's humbling for me because it's not been the greatest year when it comes to content creation so far. So it's nice to have that. There's planned to be three more six facts, including Robert the Bruce in July, because um, it's the 750th anniversary since his birth. So there's a Robert the Bruce six facts coming out and two more still to be thought about, but they're coming out later in the year as well. So the channel schedule for July might change a little bit because I don't know what the circumstances, the personal circumstances going on at the moment, which might allow me to do more content or less content. July is kind of an iffy month for me. Um, planning has not been ideal uh, with other things going on. So um, there's going to be two scenarios here. Um, so I haven't decided which vlog I'm going to release in July for the 7th of July. Um, so if it's a four week month, this is what the, if it's four videos this month this is what the schedule is going to be so the 7th of july will be a vlog either the burrow collection or Ruthen barracks the 14th of july will be project twilight the big finnish audio drama the 21st of july will be the power of three the 11th doctor tv story and the 28th of july will be the six facts of robert the bruce if it turns out i have to do fortnightly videos then the 7th of July 2024 will be either a vlog of the Battle Collection or Ruth and Barracks. And the 21st of July will be the six facts of Robert the Bruce. All videos will be released at 4pm GMT on a Sunday, as is tradition. So that's it for the channel update. Um, a lot of information, a lot of precursors. Some of the warnings I've done in January have come true. There may still be a couple of months in the later half of this year where it's just one a fortnight. It just depends on scheduling, what's happening with everything else. Um, it's not looking too bad, if I'm honest, and I probably will be able to do one video a week, but July is a little bit iffy, so that schedule might be tweaked. Check out the channel in a few days time and you'll get the schedule for the, the videos for July that will be up but what you've seen on screen is going to be you know what you're potentially going to see for the schedule i haven't 100 percent confirmed it at the time of recording however that's it from me what have you been thinking about the channel what have you been thinking about what's been going on in the past six months past few years it's um now into the ninth year of weekly uploads it's an amazing thing i never thought would happen but it is the ninth year of weekly uploads now um, and I'm looking to see if we can get through to 2026 at least um, to reach the 20th anniversary of the channel and the 10th anniversary of weekly uploads or regular uploads rather. Um, so yes, it's um, looking good, but leave a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see on the channel. Leave a comment down below what you don't like about the channel. Leave a comment down below what you do like about the channel. Feedback is important and we have a doggy coming on. Hello. Anyway, apart from that, and the dog barking. Um, thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, please like it, share it with the hashtag TeamStructor. If you like the channel as a whole, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell, so you know when a new video comes out. There is still a road to 500 subscribers. It looking like it's 2025, it might be sooner than that. Only you guys can help with that, so hit that subscribe button and notifications bell if you haven't already. And general, new video every Sunday at 4 p.m. GMT. 
But until next time, until next week with the vlog, thanks for watching and you know what? I'll see you later.